What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. If you're just getting into PC gaming and need a little more controller time, are playing specific titles that operate better with one, or just outright prefer controller gaming, you want to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck when you pick a PC-compatible gamepad. A high-quality PC controller can make all the difference in the world. There are quite a few controller options out there for PC gamers, but we've narrowed it down to the best of the best. There's something here for every kind of gamer, so be sure to stay till the end, so you can find the right controller for your needs. Now, let's get started. The first controller on our list is Xbox Core Wireless Controller. If you're searching for a controller with a quality design and ample flexibility in how you use it to game on your PC, the Xbox Core Controller is a solid place to start. Microsoft has created an ergonomic controller that's easy to hold onto thanks to added grip on the sides and rear of the controller. Even the triggers have more grip on them. The buttons and triggers have the familiar Xbox layout we love. While the D-pad got an upgrade with a new design, similar to the Xbox Elite controller, it's more tactile now too. Using the Xbox Accessories app, you can also remap a good portion of the buttons, making it a perfect partner for your PC. There's ample versatility in how you connect the device to your PC. A wired USB connection helps cut down input lag, while Bluetooth is available as a wireless alternative. A low-latency wireless connection is even available if you have an Xbox wireless adapter for PC. Also, on the controller is a 3.5mm jack for your headset, limiting the number of wires running between you and your PC. Thankfully one cable you can forget all about with the Xbox Core controller is micro USB, as this model has leaped USB-C. The next controller on our list is Scuff Instinct Pro. The Scuff Instinct Pro controller is absolutely elite when it comes to gaming on PC. Bluetooth connectivity means the controller won't get tangled up in your PC setup. The four remappable paddles on the back give you extra control options in-game, and the grip is out of this world. The Instinct Pro features three built-in customizable profiles that allow you to quickly swap your settings for specific games on the fly, so no more scrambling to change your button mapping when jumping into drastically different titles. Some might say controller players are a step behind when it comes to PC gaming, but the Instinct Pro is right on par with a full keyboard and mouse setup. The next controller on our list is Power Enhanced Wired Controller. For a controller that doesn't stray too far from the shape and feel of Microsoft's own Xbox controller, the Power Enhanced Wired Controller is a strong option that ditches wireless connectivity in order to hit a low price point. Since using the Xbox Core Controller wirelessly with a PC requires a special adapter anyway, or Bluetooth, many of us probably would opt for a wired connection. The Power Enhanced offers that at around half the price, no batteries required. The controller itself provides a decent bit of heft, aided along by two vibration motors. It's got all the buttons you need for your games and even takes a page out of the Xbox Elite Controller's book. On the underside of the Power Enhanced Controller, you'll find two small buttons that can serve as shortcuts to face buttons. That allows you to keep your thumbs firmly in place on the analog sticks while still being able to activate abilities mapped to the ABXY controls. However, holding onto this controller when your hands get sweaty can prove a bit challenging due to the lack of rubberized grips. The next controller on our list is Logitech F310. Are you a devout keyboard and mouse gamer who only imagines themselves very rarely using a gamepad? The Logitech F310 is the perfect option for you, as it only costs around $15 but it includes everything you need. On the controller, you get dual joysticks, bumpers and triggers, four standard face buttons, and even an eight-directional D-pad. Ten buttons are programmable, making it possible to customize the gamepad precisely to your needs. You'll probably find the Logitech F310S short. Nubby grips don't make for great ergonomics, but that shouldn't matter if you're only picking up a controller for short bursts to drive vehicles in games like GTA 5 or Battlefield 2042. It's also strictly a wired option, connecting via USB, but that means low input lag for the fastest possible actions. The next controller on our list is Turtle Beach Recon Controller. The plug-and-play nature of the Turtle Beach Recon controller is perfect for anyone looking to add a wired controller to their PC. It connects via a detachable USB cord. There's even a headset port on the controller, helping to limit the wires cluttering your PC setup. Turtle Beach takes it a step further by including audio controls for volume, game and chat mix, and mic monitoring, all on the gamepad itself. You'll get quickly up to speed in games with the familiar Xbox-style layout of the Turtle Beach Recon controller, so you're all set for Xbox Game Pass games and the wide assortment of titles available on Steam. Two back paddles are on the gamepad for quick actions, while on the fly button remapping is also available. There are even four different profiles preloaded on the Recon, which you can reconfigure to your liking. Finally, the textured finishes on many of the controls and rubberized grips make for a secure handhold. The next controller on our list is Sony DualSense Controller. 
Sony's DualShock 4 controller was great, and with Bluetooth connectivity, you didn't have to do a bunch of extra work to connect it to a PC wirelessly. The Sony DualSense controller does that and more. It still connects via Bluetooth, and you can always plug it in for a wired option with less latency. When using the gamepad wirelessly, the rechargeable battery is much more convenient than the AAS required for the Xbox Core. However, there is room for improvement in terms of battery life. The Sony DualSense drastically changes the aesthetics of the original but still has a similar control scheme for those who prefer the symmetrical layout of the analog sticks. Steam support is on the controller, while advanced haptics and adaptive triggers work on PC using a wired connection. With more PlayStation-exclusive games ending up not so exclusive thanks to PC ports, full DualSense functionality on PC makes for the best way to play those games. The next controller on our list is Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. If you're after an Xbox controller that doesn't hold back, then you'll want the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. This model features the swappable analog sticks, four back paddles, multiple D-pads, and tunable triggers we loved on the original Elite. You can also remap all the buttons, delivering a gaming experience you tailor to your needs. The Elite Series 2 controller sees some upgrades from the original Elite controller. Wireless charging using a docking base with pogo pins makes life a bit easier. The charger even fits conveniently in the controller's carrying case, where you can still plug it into charge. Bluetooth support is also available, making it easier to pair with your PC or smartphone. And with this iteration, the Elite moves away from the micro USB to include the more modern USB-C connection instead. The next controller on our list is SteelSeries Stratus Plus. Chromebooks are often overlooked as a gaming device option since Chrome OS is not the best for gaming, but it's slowly making improvements, especially when it comes to cloud gaming. The perfect controller partner for your Chromebook is SteelSeries Stratus Plus, and it's a solid option for any gaming PC or phone too. This upgraded version of SteelSeries Stratus Duo offers an energy-efficient Bluetooth LE connection, allowing the controller an impressive 90 hours of gameplay on just one charge. You're rarely going to have to worry about juicing up this peripheral. With a familiar layout blending the stylings of Xbox controllers and Sony's DualShock, you'll quickly get the hang of the Stratus Plus. The Hall Effect magnetic sensors provide a great feel on the triggers to ensure precision and consistency, giving you an advantage in shooters, while the LPS thumbsticks provide maximum control. The next controller on our list is 8BitDo Pro 2. With retro looks paired alongside modern functionality, the 8-bit Do Pro 2 is an awesome option for playing classic games on PC, and new games too. The face of the 8-bit Do Pro 2 gives you the sense of playing on a classic SNES controller, but the experience should be exponentially better thanks to a modern ergonomic design, quality buttons, vibration, and a good deal more. The 8-bit Do Pro 2 controller supports a wide range of platforms and can connect to your PC over Bluetooth for 20 hours of wireless play, or you can go with a wired USB-C connection. You'll find standard Nintendo-style controls, though you can remap the buttons to match in-game controls. Meanwhile, you get PlayStation-style symmetrical analog sticks. There are even motion controls. Customization also allows you to do any necessary button remapping, swap sticks behavior and axes, or even adjust the trigger actuation depth. Plus, two back paddles to let you keep your thumbs on the analog sticks. The next controller on our list is Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma. The Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma is a slick controller with exceptional capabilities. But, why settle for a wired controller without taking advantage of one of a wired connection's big perks, a consistent power supply? That's just what the Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma does. It takes the quality controller and builds in Razer's signature RGB lighting without bringing any battery life concerns. The lighting can even react to information coming in from some games, or you can just use it to express your style. The controller itself won't let you down either. It has gripped texture around the handle so you can keep a firm hold on it. The thumbstick caps are swappable for your desired feel, while four buttons on the underside, a pair of extra shoulder buttons, and hair trigger locks provide ample flexibility. And, with Razer's mecha tactile switches for the action buttons and D-pad, you won't get a squishy feel from the controls. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you later.